In this video, we introduce how to use first principle computation to design new solid electron materials for solid state lithium battery. All solid state lithium batteries use the organic ceramic fast lithium conductor as solid electrolyte to provide improved safety and energy density and is a promising next generation energy storage technology. A key challenge of all solid state battery is the development of an organic solid electrolyte to provide high lithium conductivity with all the desirable properties. In this research, we aim to use first principle computation to accelerate the design of new solid electrolyte materials. The recent interest in solid state battery start with this discovered material, LGPS, reported in 2011. It's the first inorganic ceramic solid to have high room temperature lithium conductivity comparable to liquid electrolyte, enabling a high performance all solid state lithium battery. However, this new material has two critical problems. Germanium is too expensive for large scale applications such as electrical vehicles. This steel phosphate sulfide has bad stability in air, which increases cost for materials processing and cell manufacturing. Our idea is to design a new material to address these two problems. To replace germanium into more abundant and cheaper silicon or tin, and to replace sulfides into oxides which are stable in air. We will show that new materials can be designed in computation before the synthesis in the lab. To design new materials in computation, we need to consider multiple materials properties, including phase stability, ion conduction, electrochemical stability, and interface compatibility. First, phase stability. It is critical whether the material predict in computation can be synthesized in the lab. This can be evaluated by the phase diagram from computation. To generate new materials in the computation, we substitute the germanium in LGPS structure by other cations such as silicon or tin. Then the energy of these predicted materials are calculated using first principle methods based on density functional theory. We can also obtain the energies of other materials in the same chemical space from the computation database, such as the materials project, and construct the energy convex hull. Then by comparing the energy of the predicted materials, gamma, with their competing phase equilibria, we can obtain the energy above hull which is the descriptor of the material's phase stability. The higher the value suggests a more favorable decomposition reaction, meaning less stable material. The original LGPS has a reasonable low energy above hall of 15 MeV per atom. The predicted materials that substitute the germanium into silicon or tin have a similar energy above hall, suggesting they are likely to be synthesizable in the lab. The oxides with the same structures have a high energy above hall of 90 MeV per atom, suggesting a strong decomposition reaction and poor phase stability of the oxides in the LGPS structure. For the predicted materials with poor phase stability, such as these hypothetical oxides, we can exclude them from further evaluation because they are not likely to be synthesizable in the lab. We shall continue to evaluate the predicted candidates that have good phase stability. For good solid electron materials, high lithium conductivity is a crucial property. We evaluate it using ab initial molecular dynamics simulations. ab initial molecular dynamics simulations can model the movement of ions with no assumptions of ion hopping mechanism. In our simulation of non solid electron material, such as LGPS, Garnet LZO, Nascon LATP, the ionic conductivity predicted by AMD simulation agree very well with experimental measurements. Then we use AMD simulation to predict the lithium conductivity of this predicted and silicon substituted LGPS. They all have as high lithium conductivity as the original LGPS predicted by AMD simulation. These materials are further confirmed in the experiments. They are synthesized in the experimental laboratory and have mirrored lithium conductivity in good agreement with computation predictions. This study is a successful demonstration of computation predictive design of new materials. Design and predict new materials in computation can have a big advantage. Traditional materials design process can take a long time because of the trial and error process in the laboratory to try different materials combinations until successful is very time consuming. 
Using computation, new materials can be screened in computers, which is highly scalable. A large number of materials can be screened and the lab trials can focus on the most promising candidates. Therefore, the use of computation materials design will greatly accelerate the design discovery of new materials. More about computation materials design is summarized in our review paper in June, and the original computation paper of ALGPS can be found in Energy Environmental Science and Chemistry of Materials. Thank you.